Good afternoon. This is our Tatchet Minicon top labeler with our new upgraded encoder feature. So to explain a little bit of the difference, I've created this video for you. We've added an encoder to the bottom side of the conveyor belt. The encoder will automatically read the speed of the conveyor and then integrates it into the distance of where the label is placed once the label passes the start sensor. So first, I want to come around. The easiest way to adjust the speed of the conveyor is to utilize this red box. There's a number in here and you can increase or decrease by turning this dial on the front of this controller. Now if you speed the machine up too much, you will get an error message because the conveyor is too fast for the label head. Once you get the desired speed, you hold the button in for about two seconds and that will set this speed. Now because of the new feature that we have, we no longer have multiple files, we only have one file. On the front screen now you see encoder on. That means that control box is now reading the encoder. And you have your belt speed. The other buttons are all the same, but when I go in the file now, you have label speed correction, which is another way to adjust the belt speed. You have your label stop position, which is the same as it was in the past, which is adjusting the feed of the label so that only one label feeds out each time and that it's feeding into the proper position. The label speed now is coordinating the speed of the conveyor to the labels to the speed of the label head in the past these had to be manually configured now it's being done automatically label start is the distance in millimeters from where the box passes the start sensor to when we place it so if I click on the box to open it you'll see it's now showing the millimeter sign so I currently have this set at 100 millimeters and I'm just going to hit enter. So another difference with using this new encoder system is our start sensor, the light, which is the red light that the start sensor emanates that the product breaks coming across, aligns with the edge of this separator plate. That gives us our defined position on where the label is positioned. So let's run a couple boxes through. So I'm going to go back to the main screen, hit run. And I'm going to run the same box through a couple times. And you'll see how exact positioning we are. So on both of these boxes now, you can see we've put two labels on. You cannot see one label above the other on each box, as well as you cannot see um, how close these are for the individual boxes. Taking my ruler, and I hope the focus can see this, you can now see that we are 100 millimeters from the leading edge of the box to the label placement. So now, what I'm going to do is the belt speed is 184. I'm going to slow down the belt a little bit. And I'm going to run these same two boxes again with the leading edge. And you'll see that the label placement still says completely accurate. And this is due to the encoder. 
Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my file. So keep in mind they're about 25.4 millimeters per inch. And I'm gonna change this to 50. Enter. So now the label will be two inches from this leading edge. And you can see, again, how accurate we are. And we'll use the ruler. There's my millimeter. And you'll see that that's now 50 millimeters, which is what I inputted. So in order to configure this machine now, it is much easier than it was in the past, because we have a defined distance from the leading edge of the box to where we're placing the label. So all an operator needs to do once the machine is set up is find the number of millimeters from the leading edge of the box or the package to where they want the label placed, input that number in the file, and the machine will automatically adjust to the proper location. This is a major improvement in the ease of use of the machine for the operator. Thank you and have a great day.